You know, there comes a day where you kind of just have to call it quits. There comes a day where you need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, Do you think it's really time I stop this series? You think it's time that I stop being so hard on Frontier? After all the work that they've given us, after all the love they've poured into their games, after every single achievement that they were able to do for this little humble zoo game. No, no, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Welcome back everyone to another Leaf Complains video. My name is Leaf, and if you're new here, please take everything I say with a hundred grains of salt because apparently some people like to take what I say, you know, literally. So today we are getting back into our trash series and today I'm covering a little something different. I'm covering the Deluxe Edition for Planet Zoo. Now, the Deluxe Edition, <laughs> this is kind of funny. All right, so we are actually going to look at the Deluxe Edition and we're gonna start with the three unique animals that it seems to, you know, boast about. Now, I just want to say, some of these picks are good, some aren't. Maybe we should even get a few more. So, with the Deluxe Edition, you do get three unique animals, as the title says. I'm not really sure how unique they can actually be, but we're going to get right into them. Now, it's a Pygmy Hippopotamus, the Thompson's Gazelle, and the Komodo Dragon. Three of these are, you know, they're... I wouldn't say they're unique, but I would say they're welcome additions for a deluxe quote-unquote edition. Now, the Planet Zoo Deluxe Edition is 10 bucks more than, you know, the regular Planet Zoo. And I would say it's kind of worth it just to, like, you know, have all the animals. But, alright, let's break it down a little bit. Let's, you know, let's break it down. Let's do a little dance, you know? Uh, let's look at the Pygmy Hippo. I think the Pygmy Hippo is actually a really, really good candidate for this. It's unique, it is tiny, and it is a lovable, lovable little animal. I think it's, like, perfect. I It fits perfectly in here, you know? It, it makes a great little welcome addition. I will say, though, it does use the hippo rig, so it's not really unique. The Komodo Dragon. Now, that is also a pretty un interesting choice. It's not really your go-to animal, but it is certainly one that a lot of people do think of when they think of, like, you know, very unique animals. It's one of the largest red piles on Earth. It is venomous. It is, quote-unquote, unique. And that's what I kind of like about it. Thompson's Gazelle is what I have a problem with. Thompson's Gazelle is not unique in the slightest. It is such a boring, boring animal. You know what would have been even better in this place? The Geranuk, or the Geranuk. I don't even know how you say it. I just call them Jerry's. But yeah, like, why would you have a boring gazelle that looks just like a Springbok instead of one that actually has unique characteristics? Quote by, you know, the giant neck that it has. Like, I don't know why Frontier would call the Thompson's Gazelle unique when we could have gotten the Garanuk or Jarnook. I'm just going to say both of them because I know I'm going to get corrected nonetheless. Instead, like, it's just the perfect addition. Like, I don't get it. And I feel like three isn't even enough. Like, all right, so hear me out. You're paying for 10 bucks extra for Planet Zip. I think this should be more in line with the DLCs. And since Southeast Asia was, you know, how much was Southeast Asia? I'm checking right now. Southeast Asia was 10 bucks, right? We got eight animals with that. I feel like Deluxe Edition should have had, you know, a little bit extra. It should have had a little bit extra to line my pockets, you know? We do get wallpapers, which is cool, I guess. Um, I actually haven't even looked at them before because I don't even know where you find them. Uh, you get the soundtrack, you, me, and the other animals, that is fine. Except you can just go on YouTube and listen to it. I don't get why we would need to pay extra money for it. Like, who openly wants to go and listen to the Planet Zoo soundtrack? Why not just open the game and actually build with it? Who knows? You are a absolute freak and degenerate. I'm kidding, I'm sorry. That was, that was very uncalled for, but... <laughs> no, like... I feel like we should have gotten more animals, and, you know, I like the idea, like, three unique animals. Let's bump it up to five, you know? I feel like that would have been a more welcome number. So, I don't know, what else is a unique animal? How about the capybara? I feel like the capybara is a very, 
yeah, it's a great contender for this. It's a very unique animal. It's the world's largest rodent. It looks kind of nothing like any other rodent, too. And it's a love- it has that cuteness factor that the, uh, pygmy hippo has, too. I feel like that would have made it the perfect contestant in here. What else? Like, there are other unique animals. Like, how about... I don't know, like the Caribbean Flamingo. I feel like that would have been a nice, easy one to do. It seems like these three are essentially reskins slash remodels. I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack for saying that, but that's essentially what they are. I know a lot of love goes into these animals, but I feel like simple additions would have been great, and the Caribbean Flamingo would have been perfect for it. I feel like it's one that a lot of people love. It's a very bright flamingo, and I feel like it would have added so much more value to the Deluxe Edition itself. Because, you know, I often see like a lot of people going, Oh, should I get the Deluxe Edition or should I get Basic? And should I also get a pack to go along with it? And like, obviously you would go for a pack. Like, come on. This isn't worth it. You know, it'd be actually interesting if they added, you know, scenery to this. You know, maybe even some more Planet Zoo scenery, like some more basic, like, you know, benches and stuff. Maybe more fitting with the Planet Zoo theme. Maybe have, like, the Planet Zoo logo plastered on top of it, like, a million times. I don't know. Probably would have been cool. <laughs> but, yeah. So, that is pretty much all I have to say on this. It's kind of a subpar deluxe edition. I really do... Like, I really do like the idea behind it. Like, providing more unique animals for, you know, a little bit of a surplus of money, that makes sense, you know? You would have, it's kind of like, look back at Zoo Tycoon with the uh, bonus downloads, like the Muskox, it also had like the Black Jaguar, I think, it had the Adex. Those were all like very unique creatures. Muskox, let's throw Muskox on there too, why not? We barely even have any like base game Arctic animals as it is, so why not just throw it in there, you know? But yeah, I feel like this was kind of slept on, you know? I feel like, you know, Frontier kind of needed to push a little bit more with this one. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you guys for watching this little brief video. I bet you guys thought I was done with this until the next pack, but no sorry. I have a lot more ideas lined up, and I can't wait for you guys to see them all. Uh, yeah, my name is Leaf, and thank you guys so much for watching. If you hated this video, be sure to drop a dislike. And if you have a problem with me, fight me. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I love you guys. Have a great one and have the most wonderful day. Take care now.